Good evening. Welcome to the Ridge Performing Arts Center. My name is Michael Fackelman, Supervisor of Visual Performing Arts. It's my pleasure to welcome Liberty Corner School to the pack for our concert. How about a round of applause for our students? This is our second week of elementary school concerts. We had a couple last week and two more this week. We had a series of concerts in December at the secondary level. And after this, I think we have one dance recital and one more high school band concert. So if you want to know what's going on in the pack, please check out our, re our website. It's uh, ridgepack at ridgepack.bernardsboe.com. Uh, you can find all the events that are going on. We have some musicals coming up um, in the next couple months that will surely be, be outstanding. So a few things for you before we begin. In the event of an emergency, we need to leave the auditorium. Not that we think that's going to happen. Uh, please do so in a nice, calm, and orderly manner out the back doors and go to the parking lot, and it'll be nice and cozy for you outside. At least you're not sitting in traffic on Route 78 and 287 on my way back up tonight. It's crazy out there tonight. I'm always amazed uh, at every concert. Um, there's certain things that happen, and the greatest thing that happens with the concerts, it's a journey. And the music teachers last week said it, and I stole their words, and I've used it every concert. Your children are on a journey. They started, for some of them, they started their journey this year in music. And we're excited to, to share the stage with them and have them share their talents with you. Journeys, there are bumps in the roads for sure, but they get there. And the, the greatest way to know they get there is to see some of our secondary concerts. Truly outstanding, and it all starts here. So we're very happy and proud that they're all with us tonight and that you're with us as well. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our fourth and fifth grade orchestras under direction, Ms. Kendall Casey. Thank you.
for a giant, I'm not, so. <laughs> um, all right, so I just want to say a couple of things. Um, I want to say, first off, I'm so proud of all of the hard work and dedication that the students have put into uh, preparing for the concert and for tonight. Um, getting on stage is really hard. This is no easy feat, so I'm really, really proud of them. Um, I also would like to say thank you to Mr. Falkman, our fine arts supervisor, Dr. Oliver and Mrs. Lawrence, Mr. Barry and all of the Ridge Pack team, the Liberty Corner staff and volunteers who are helping out tonight, Elefante Music, who is here and helped with tuning tonight, um, Mr. Tismo, who prepared the students for the concert, um, Catherine, our high school volunteer, and Mrs. Beadle, our incredible accompanist. Thank you so much. And I also want to say thank you to, uh, to all of you, the parents and family members who support the students who are up there and, and support them on their musical journey. Uh, please know that we all appreciate all that you do. And um, so thank you all. And uh, enjoy the fifth grade orchestra's last song, um, Aeolian Rock. Thank you. 
How about another round of applause for our orchestra students? So while the band is still setting up, just a couple things. I forgot to say this earlier. Uh, we've started streaming all of our concerts. So tonight's concert is being streamed live. And at the same time, we're recording it. So I see some of you out there with your phones and your this and everything else. We got you covered. Uh, within a couple days or so, we'll have uh, tonight's concert on the Ridgepack website. So by all means, feel free to share it and look for it there. Little bit of a public service announcement for you. Uh, this is the first, first year I'm on my third elementary school concert, and I haven't had anyone ask me to help tie a tie. It, really, it fit over his head last year, and it doesn't fit anymore. So my public service announcement for you is a thing called a zipper tie. If you haven't ever seen one, look them up. They're on Amazon, and they're cheap. They just zip up and down. They're the greatest thing in the world. Guys, you can get them for adults, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one next year and show you all. Uh, so it's, it's, it's better than trying to squeeze it over their head because they actually do grow from spring to winter. It's, it's a challenge. Okay, so I'm done. So next on our concert, fourth and fifth grade band under direction of Ms. Nicole Ferguson. Thank you. Yeah. 
Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Nicole Ferguson. Thank you. <laughs> I am the fourth and fifth grade band director here. As you can tell, we have a lot of fun on stage. Um, I just wanted to thank you, the parents, for dropping the kids off for rehearsals early, um, for letting them practice in your houses. I, my parents know what that was like when I first started an instrument. Um, the fourth grade band who was on stage before us, they literally just learned how to open up their cases in September, and then they just played a full concert. So um, kudos to them for doing all that. <laughs> on stage right now is my fifth grade band. Some of them actually did learn how to open up their cases this year as well, um, but you could not tell by the way that they sound. Uh, they're doing an amazing job. I'm having so much fun with them. Um, we have a guest snare drummer with us today, Mrs. Casey, so I just want to say thank you to her for filling in for us. Um, and we have one more piece for you.
How about another round of applause for our band students? So the, our final segment of this concert actually got a kickoff in the fall. We tried something different, different this year. Actually, it was in staff uh, called Choir Night. Uh, and it was a great success, so much so that we had to turn people away. So next year, we're going to expand it a little bit. And we're excited uh, that it had such a, a great amount of support. And we look forward to great things that can do. And it was a great opportunity for the staff across the district to work together. So without further ado, the fourth and fifth grade chorus under the direction of Mr. Emanuel Cruz. Thank you. I was looking for the microphone. I was like, well, I could use my singer voice. 20 years of training will come in handy. So uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you again for coming out to this concert. It has been a pleasure working with all the fourth and fifth graders on the stage. We are at around 70 members of the ensemble. Uh, what's great is that last year, half of the group were third graders. They were brand new to choir. And we had the, uh, the current fifth graders that some of them had experience doing uh, choral singing before, but I'm just constantly amazed every rehearsal I have at the, the amazing amount of talent and focus and discipline that these children have, and they've really, really come through beautifully. Um, that first song they performed was an original piece by Andy Beck called The Moon. Very, very beautiful lyrical piece, and you have opportunities for them to trade off between the two different parts, part one, part two, soprano alto, whichever way you'd like to call it. The next piece you're gonna do, as another way of displaying their amazing talent, is an acapella piece. 
it, the melody of this particular song is very old. Nobody knows who wrote the original melody, it's traditional. And there's been different interpretations of the words, but the words that they're going to be using for this concert, very appropriate for the winter, it's getting nice and cold outside. So this is Cold Winds Blow, this is going to be an acapella round. So thank you again, enjoy. Thank you, thank you. I heard someone auditioning for the choir in the future, so great job. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you. Before uh, I conclude the concert, I just once again want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the support, the help, the uh, so, um, everything that's gone along the way. I want to mention a few names, and if I forget yours, I apologize. I even wrote them down on my iPad to make sure that I get this right. So first off, I'd like to thank Mr. Fackelman, the supervisor of the Performing and Visual Arts of the District, Dr. Oliver, Mrs. Lawrence, thank you, administration, for helping me. I want to especially shout out my two amazing colleagues in the music department, Mrs. Ferguson and Mrs. Casey, for the amazing work and camaraderie that I've had working with them. I also want to thank uh, Mr. Tissimo, who was here helping the orchestra for the first few months, and it was great working with her. Thank you to all the staff at Rich High. Thank you for being wonderful hosts for this opportunity. Uh, my colleagues at Liberty Corner, thank you once again for all your support and support of the performing arts. Especially want to shout out Mrs. Beadle, my predecessor at LCS, for doing an amazing job playing the piano. So thank you. And lastly, thank you, thank you once again to all the parents, family, everybody who's watching the live stream. Thank you again for supporting the arts. The past few years have been very, very challenging for those of us involved in music, dance, theater, and everything. But nothing beats a live performance. Nothing beats the feeling of being inside a theater. And this just warms my heart to see this place at almost at, uh, maximum capacity. So thank you once again for being out here. Thank you for supporting all their endeavors. So the final piece of this concert is going to be a mix of English and it's going to be a mix of Spanish. So the name of the piece itself is called El Caputín. And just a little explanation of the history of the song itself, and this comes from the sheet music. So El Caputín is a Puerto Rican folk song that celebrates the joy that many of us in here in all partake on a daily basis, a nice cup of coffee. Ah, I should be sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. So. Uh, as some of you may know, Puerto Rico has a strong tradition of the coffees that are grown there. I myself happen to be of Puerto Rican descent. My mother was born there. And this is another piece of music that has existed for several hundred years. This arrangement of El Caputín, like I said, it switches back and forth between English and Spanish. The minor part of the song is in English. The major part of the song is in Spanish. And the word El Caputín doesn't have an exact translation. It has different meanings depending on who you ask. But let's just say like a coffee tin or a percolator or whatever you would make your coffee with. And for this version, I'm going to have the help of a few percussionists. So Reggae, Charlotte, um, Elena, Renee, and who am I forgetting? Oh, Mary. All right. So this is El Caputin. Once again, thank you for coming out and I look forward to the next concert. Thank you.
Good evening. Thank you so much for coming out tonight to all the students here in choir and back there. You did a fantastic job. Mr. or Dr. Oliver wishes that he could be here to tell you how much you did a great job. We see you here in the morning, very early in the morning, wiping those sleep, the sleep out of your eyes. So we know your dedication. You did a great job, and it showed tonight. Thank you so much for, uh, to Mrs. Casey, Mrs. Ferguson, Mr. Cruz for doing a wonderful job. <laughs> to Mrs. Beadle, thank you for coming out tonight and putting your special touches on that piano. Thank you. To our tech crew in the back, thank you so much for doing this. They, to highlight the students the way they did, to, the way they uh, sang tonight and they played tonight, they showed their, um, it shows, uh, you know, the highlights their wonderful um, playing skills. So thank you so much to the parents. Um, thank you for putting your, or showing us your dedication to bringing your children into the school in the mornings. We appreciate your support to show to the teachers, to your students, and the program. Um, we're going to have the students carefully go back to their seats back there, and they're going to put together their um, instruments, and they'll meet you right out there. So take care, and thank you for coming out tonight.